Do loud pipes really save lives? Is this idea a myth or the truth? Do you know how a loud pipe is heard inside a car? six motorcycles took part in the tests. The first test aimed to establish a reference of noise produced by each of the motorcycles. The measurement was performed with professional microphones placed 1.5 meters behind and in front of the motorcycles, at a height of 1.2 meters. The noisiest motorcycle produced 111 decibels and the last noisy produced 80 decibels. The results show that the noise produced in the back is up to 7 decibels higher compared to that produced in the front. The difference between the two recorded values decreases as the motorcycle produces less noise. The following three tests illustrate how motorcycle noise is heard in the car. For each measurement, a number of parameters were taken into consideration. The car's engine is running at 2500 or 3000 rotations per minute. The music inside the car is at a medium level, which allows conversation between passengers. The motorcycles are at a level of 5000-6000 rotations per minute. In test 2, the motorcycles were positioned one by one, 15 meters behind the car, and the measurements show that none are heard inside of it. In test 3, the motorcycles were positioned, one by one, 10 meters behind the car. For the first time, the noise produced by a motorcycle, the noisiest one tested, is close to the level of background noise recorded inside the car. However, the analysis of the sound level is not enough in this case, being necessary the analysis of the frequency spectrum. This analysis shows us in which frequency range one sound is louder than the other. Two sets of graphs were followed. The frequency spectrum for background sound in the car, the frequency spectrum of the sound emitted by each motorcycle. For our analysis, relevant are the areas where the graph of the motorcycle is above that of the background noise in the car. The conclusion is that only one motorcycle can be heard in the car, but it can also be heard only in the low frequency area, 200-400 Hz. As we will hear later, this is a sound hard to perceive by the human ear. In the next test, the motorcycle are positioned on the side of the car. Even so, only the noisiest motorcycle tested can be heard inside. At such a distance, however, the driver does not have the necessary reaction time to correct dangerous maneuvers in traffic. At this distance, another three tested motorcycles approached the sound level that allows them to be heard inside a car. An interesting fact is that, in front of the car, the motorcycle sounds even weaker than when it is on the side. The reason is the sound isolation of the car, higher in front than on the side. The level of sound perceived in the car when the motorcycle is in front of it decreases by 4 decibels compared to the moment when the motorcycle was on the side. In order not to let you imagine the sounds we have talked about so far, here is a recording of the relevant sequences during the tests. <laughs> 